Hey Spuddies, Potemic Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Transport Fever. Now, uh, there's kind of a little bit of bad news that comes with this series. Um, I actually have like three hours of footage recorded of this game, but I recorded it at the wrong frame rate and that caused some major issues. So uh, there's probably going to be gaps in this series because until I catch back up. Um, so that's just something I want to preface at the front of this video. But I'm going to continue on anyway. Uh, and just play the game. So uh, we're playing on like a free play. We're doing a random map. I was doing the campaign, but I, I'm just a little bit depressed because I lost all that footage. So I was going to say, hey, whatever. We're just going to play some regular old game. Uh, so let's zoom out here and have a look at what we could do. Uh, probably the first thing we're going to want to do is maybe start delivering some food. I think food is a pretty simple um, supply line to get going. Uh... I think so what's going to be our main town let's have a look around do we have like a centralized town we don't really i think what i could do is i could transport some huh this farm's in a really awkward position maybe we could find a better farm uh hey, maybe this farm over here hmm that farm is also in a really awkward position let's see if we can make this farm work so i need to get a road Ah, yes. Okay, now I need to come this way, like that. We'll get a nice little country road. Um, because we're going to want a train station. I'm thinking a terminal station that goes over to here. So let's grab our train station tool. The game's performance is very poor. Like, when I'm moving my screen around like here, it, you, you might not be able to see it in the video. But I, let me tell you, I can feel the performance of this game struggling. Ah. Uh, Keep even a little baseline going up. Something's up with this game's performance. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but Jesus Christ, it's it's it struggles to maintain even you know a, a baseline of a frame rate, which is shocking, honestly. You know, I'm gonna drag this road out another little bit, just so I have a little bit of more wiggle room for later on. Okay, so this is going to be the... Oh, that's a passenger station. And that's another thing in this game is, you know, you need to you need to actually pick the right pa the right station type. And I keep on messing that up uh, pretty consistently, actually. Because the game... It just seems like an unnecessary awkwardness, honestly, um, to make that a requirement. Okay, and then we're going to make a land regular old dual lane station here that lands... Uh, if we follow along the edge of the river, this should have no problem. Landing about there seems good. I like to start off with uh, with the food line. It feels good to me to do that. We're going to drag out our train. Particularly, the performance issues with the game get really bad when you're doing this sort of stuff. Like when you're dragging out this station, it gets pretty crazy. It's a really fun game, which is kind of a shame. Um performance wise um, that it that it just struggles a little bit uh, yeah we'll make a nice long track here I like to spend about 50,000 in my railway line chunks I'm gonna come from the other side now I want to follow along the edge of the coast and I want it to be fairly high speed rail it's getting expensive we'll go about 50k I want these to line up. But not those particular two tracks, because there's going to be a, a dual track railway. So we want these to connect like this. And then this one wants to connect to the, um, the right hand track like that. Oh, there's a collision with something. Where is the collision? Bridge pillar collision with what? Let me make it a little bit closer. Is that better? We'll go for the high speed bridge. We're also going to want to make that. And now we can make the second pair of the track. It 
to here. Good news. And um, where do we want to deliver this food to? Uh, we could deliver it uphill to Chikorel. Um, or we could deliver it to Shepherd. Or Shepshed, sorry. Wherever we deliver to, we will make that decision later. Right now we're just making the, the current track. So I'm going to want to do... Uh, so the basic idea here I'm using is that trains drive on the right-hand side of the railway. So you, you come in this track, you land in the station, then you roll out, you cross lanes, you drive all the way along. You come in this track, you come in on this side, and then you leave out this way. See if I can get this to do the right way. Yep. There's a little bit of arc. Now you could do something like this, sort of, you know, you could do a, a dual interchange if you wanted to have the capacity to have two trains loading and unloading at once. But you actually, you very rarely run into the situation where you're going to need that. But this is, this, this should be just perfectly fine. I like to start off in 1850, by the way, as well, too. Just to get that authentic, authentic feel. I'm going to stick down a, um, a railway depot uh, somewhere over in this direction. Now I'm going to want, I think if I'm going to be delivering to Shepshed, I'm going to want a railway station over here. So I don't want this to take up too much room. So I'm going to stick it. Uh, oh, that was the wrong button. I'm going to stick the depot, I think, over here behind this station for now. We might have to move it later. But I'm thinking, my thinking here is that this should be just perfectly fine. I can get these to cross over properly. Come on, play nice. There we go. So now our stations can make it to here. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy a train. This is going to be a cheap little D13. D1 slash 3. It's a crappy little train. It goes about 40 kilometers per hour. We're going to get one of those and it's going to carry grain. I'm thinking, oh, two grain wagons and two cattle wagons. Yeah, we'll do two grain wagons, two livestock wagons. So let's set these to grain and livestock. We're going to create a new line for these to let the train know where it's supposed to go. So you're supposed to go over here to the Shep Shed and then to the Shepshed Exchange. I'm going to give these proper names, plus I need you to actually switch tracks here eventually. I'm going to set up the uh, signaling there in a moment. So we will call this the Shep... Shep Farm Line. Or you know what, we'll call this Farm Line 1. And we will give it a nice, bright... kind of gold... Yeah, we'll give it a bright yellow color, I guess. Make it easy to spot. Um, and this train is going to go on that track. So let me select this train and I will assign you to the farm line. Okay, so let's do the fun thing and we'll follow the little train. It'll be really slow. But it should, in theory, it should make it all the way over and back. It'll take some time because it's really, really slow. And uh, I think I think we are actually paying maintenance for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, property maintenance is pretty high. He didn't actually switch tracks, but that's because I never set up the um, the signaling. I'll, I'll set up the signaling now, real quick. Um, so basically, I I want you to go. So you put the signal on the the outsides, basically, like that. Um, we'll we'll space these out pretty pretty generously. They don't need to be too close together. I like to make sure only one train is on a bridge at a time. So I like to put them right there and there, you know, around here. So I'm actually going to get you to turn around here real quick to pick up the rest of that stuff. We want a full loaded train. So he's come over here, he's picked up the goods that have been deposited here by the farm. 
You should be almost full, yeah, just about. So we'll follow you now. Moving as you move along. This cute little train. Now in the early game your trains are pretty expensive and they do not make you much money. In fact, I'm not even sure it's easy to make a profit at this point. Like this train has cost us 51k. Um, and it's only done one run and like it hasn't even done anything yet. But the hope is that we will make it uh, here. What is what is even the time? Yeah, like it's a seven minute frequency to land between the stations. Now if we, if we got a second train, we could bring that frequency uh, down to a more reasonable number. But I don't think even like the production has, is high enough to justify that. Uh, although it might be right about now. So we'll follow the train. Oh, I keep misclicking here and stopping it. So he should arrive and then he should deposit. We got 80k. So the train is just barely paying for itself. I'm going to get a second train now. Because now we're producing food and we need to get that food over to Shep Shed. So, uh, how we do that is an interesting thing that we're going to do. What we want is a train station to get the food over there. I'm going to pause the game while we build this one. I can take out more of a loan as well if I need extra money. And we probably will do that. So where exactly does the food need to be delivered is a question we need to answer. <laughs> okay, so there's three essential areas. Um, green essentially produces... They all kind of produce passengers, but green, I believe, produces the most... Uh, and the food needs to be delivered to the blue areas. So ideally, our train station would be connected to a blue area. So let me go in here. I'm going to pick up the <coughs> cargo station. My cargo station is going to go... I would like it to be here. Can I get a road... I want this town to have more sensible roads, so ah, I want to build it like this. I don't want a building to be removed, though. And I want the road to kind of follow the contours of the land. Okay, so could I hide, could I sneak in a station over here? It won't really reach the stuff that I need. That's fine. Oh God, it's on a hill. That's really awkward. It's gonna make making this very, very expensive. Whatever, it'll be worth it in the long run. So I'm gonna put a train station here. I'm also gonna stick down, just to be ahead of myself, I'm gonna stick down a um, a, uh, what's this thing called? A truck station. Get it out of the way here. And then I will connect it like this. And I should still be able to pull rail out the back of this. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be connected up now. Oh, God, it's really awkward. We'll just go out a few K, like that. Then I want the interchange, switching from the left to the right. I need to get this to connect up over here. I'm gonna pull off at the bridge area. Ideally, you wanna pull off at a shallow angle so that the speed remains high. Let's have a look at the elevation here. So not too much of an elevation to deal with. So I think we can do pretty much a straight shot um, over there. Let's just slowly make our way over. I'm trying to keep an eye on the recording too, so it doesn't get too choppy. And we'll do that sort of thing. That looks good to me. All right, um, so those are connected up now. We're gonna need to do switches and path signals as well. So the, I want you to wait here, and then when you come through, you're gonna wanna wait a little bit further back. <clears throat> We're gonna do the switching signals over here now. Um, if you're coming in on the right, you're gonna wanna wait here until someone's off, and then as you're coming off, that's when you're clear. 
and then we'll do another pair of signals over here they don't need to be super close together, but they don't need to be super far away from each other either. You know, this is this is fairly decent spacing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a clone of this train. I'm going to take out some more money. I want to go up to a 5 million loan, I think is a good number. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another train. This is going to, again, have two grain wagons and two livestock wagons. And it's going to be assigned to the farm line one. And if, you, if you're curious now to see, you can see now both railway lines are being used because the tracks have been separated correctly. Something I am going to want to get rid of though is to, just to make things run a little bit smoother, I'm going to want to get rid of these, this one, and then as you come off, I don't want you to wait to, I don't want you to wait, I don't want you to wait close to the, um, because otherwise you'll jam up the intersection. Um, that'll make more sense like I, as you watch me play and stuff like that. It's kind of one of those intuitive things that you figure out as you play that's hard to explain. But um, if you know what it is, you know what it is. So we have some food here now that can be picked up. So we're going to buy some trains. Uh, I need to find a food wagon. Can I move food at this point? Green, green. What is this? How do I move food? Can I even move food? What is it even called? Wagons. So this is for passengers. Coal, iron ore, stone, grain, slag. Crude oil, oil, fuel. Food, here we go. So it's a goods wagon that I want. I will buy a little dinky thingy here. I'm gonna grab the um four food wagons. I'm gonna set these to be food just so that the train knows who's boss. Alright, and then you're going to be going to set up the food line. This is gonna be the Ah, oh, wrong way. I need this to be the final order. You're going to go from this station over here, where the food is processed, over to this town station over here. This is going to be called the Food Line 1. And I'm going to give it a sort of more yellowy color. I'm thinking that color. And then the farm line, I will give a darker color so we can distinguish between the two. They'll be similar but different. And you will be assigned to the food line. So you should, in theory now, go over to this station and pick up food. So he'll stomp off here. Um... Did I make a passenger station over here by accident? Let me check. No, this is a freight station. Is it just not in range to deliver food? I've been having trouble getting endpoint delivery. But I'm hoping this works out. So we built this for a reason. This is so I could deliver food. Uh, let me go ahead and grab the smaller truck station and I want one near the center of town I want to kill as few buildings as possible and I want to see where I'm delivering to uh, where can I fit you in let me slow down time here while I try and fit you in Oh, you know what? I could actually fit it in here and this would capture a big chunk of the town for certain goods. But if I move it ever so slightly over this way,
I want to kill as little stuff as possible when I'm placing this. Three buildings will be removed, but that will capture almost all of the actual area. Okay, so then we'll put down the, um, the actual road depot. We'll probably, we'll stick it down over here. Um, so this road depot, we're going to be getting a horse wagon and it's going to be going from, we're going to create a new line. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping this is how it works, right? Because the game, the game is, the game is very unclear on how it all works. But I'm hoping this line will work as a stop off point. Okay. But I'm hoping um, the goods will be transferred from here to here. I, th I, th I think that's how it works. I don't I don't even know if it's how it works. I'm just going to use a single single road vehicle to test that theory. <clears throat> I'm going to set you to be food. And I'm going to set you to line one. And line one is going to be a slightly brighter color like that. I will give you a line called food T line one as in that's a truck food line I think I'm doing this all right this game is very weird and it doesn't explain things but food is arriving here now so in theory this train yeah look it waits for this train to clear the tracks and then it makes a go um, so I think, I think we actually are making money, just barely. First industry upgraded. I just got a uh, achievement. Let an industry upgrade. Huh. No upgrade or downgrade scheduled. No upgrade or downgrade scheduled. So in theory, as we watch here, 36 kilometers per hour. You're just, are you not able to make it to your full speed? Are you too heavy? Maybe you're too heavy. Let me check out these carts, actually. Let me have a look. So these wagons heavy? Uh, weight 5 tons. No, you should be able to make it to your top speed. You're just kind of being slow for some reason. Ah, oh, there you are. You're at your top speed. Your top speed is pretty fucking slow, let's be honest. Um, but you should, in theory now... Well, actually, something I could do here. Let me get rid of this. I think I might do the interchange. Now that this is servicing, like multiple unique train lines can I delete that do this and then place down the signal And in theory now, even if there's a train like holding up this station, another train could roll into the other spot, I think. But you should be carrying food now. Yep, and we're going to watch you to your destination. Because our objective here is double slip switch. Double slip switch. So what does that mean? I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to say yes and hope it works. All right, so how are you? All right, you're making it. Let's keep going. Finally, you might make some money for me. Now, I'm really curious if this if this is going to work because I've never actually managed to make this work. I've only ever kind of gotten really, really close to it working. So I'm hoping this time uh, Transport Fever will work for me. All right, so a lot of this game, though, in the early game, when you're playing like the 1850s, a lot of it is just like waiting for trains to get to places because they're just so slow. 
All right, first train is arriving here. Let's slow it down. Should deposit, yep, yeah, got 100K. And did that count as a delivery to the town? Does it try to make it to the truck station? Okay, that counted as a full delivery to the town. So now we know that we don't need these. And we can just... Uh, oh, I need to actually place that depot back so I can actually sell you. We'll leave the depot there, but I'm going to get rid of you. So, okay, I managed to figure out how to make it work. Um, thank goodness. So now we have a, a train service, right? It's, it's, we're, 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 we're transporting goods, and in theory we will be making money. Um, it looks like we might need more of these rain trains. It looks like there is a build-up in, uh, in goods here. So let's see if we can make another switch thingy. Oh, you know what's in the way? This signal is in the way again. So let me grab these sort of things. I'm gonna do a... Get you out of my way. Your smoke is really annoying. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if I can do a crossover exchange again so that it can handle even more trains. Then I will stick down the signal here on the left side right there. That'll dictate whether or not people can go in and out. I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna make a new train. It's gonna be a D thingy. It's gonna have two grain wagons, two goods wagons. Uh, I just wanna set those to be the right thing. Grain, grain, livestock, livestock. And then we will set you to the farm line. And you should roll out of your station right now. Um, and just for the sake of completeness, you rolled into this slot right there. Then you waited for this person to leave your section of road that you're on. You should be able to just roll in no problem. Excellent. So you can see, we have a nice little train system going on here. We've got trains moving in to pick up stuff, and hopefully we'll be making some money. Um, we do need another train to pick up this food, so I'm going to take out another little bit of a loan. I'm going to see if I can clone a train. Uh, I probably don't need to do a cloning. But I will assign you to the food line. I'm going to delete the food truck line. It's unnecessary. Um, so food T line, we will delete. Plenty of food building up over here. So now, we're, um, because we're delivering stuff to Shepshed, the town should start growing. I don't know if this is like yearly food that it demands or monthly food or whatever, but I think it, it demands a certain amount of goods every interval, whatever interval it uses. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help the town grow a little bit by making more sensible roads. So that it has room to grow. Like over here, there's like clearly there should be a road going out this way. if I can make it go straight. Like that, so this, this town now has room to grow. I tell you what I will do though, I'm going, I would like to set up a passenger rail network as well. Um, can I make trams? That's a good question, can I make trams? Uh, I'll stick a little tram thing down here. I can set up a little horse-drawn tram. So I'm going to uh, have a look at that. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We might not even continue playing this particular game. Um, I, I might have a, this. This episode was mainly this was um, this was mainly to play around with the game. We're probably going to continue this and see what we can do. I'm pretty happy with this so far. We've got a little train line going. 
The game doesn't really start until like pretty deep into it, but you know, we're working with these like crappy little trains. Now, that's really a long time to wait, actually. So, let me... That's really a long time to wait, so I'm going to quickly edit that. Um, it's totally fine to wait there, don't worry about it. So we're delivering goods over here. We're not quite picking up enough food. We might need yet another food train. So I'll take out another loan of a million. And, uh, I, oh, you know what? That's the wrong thing. I need to get rid of those. It needs to be just four goods cards. I mean, we could probably do longer trains, but they're kind of weak and crap at this point in the game. Uh, I will assign you to the food line. You see how the trains, they, they're self-organizing and they're, they're getting where they need to go. So he sh you should pick up food now, I think. There you go. Pick up all that food. Launching off. Ooh, they closed, they passed pretty close together there. But this is reassuring. It means that I have actually figured out how the railway systems and stuff work. Trust me, it took me like four hours of off-screening this. I did, I kind of briefly alluded to it. I, I have like hours of me playing this game recorded already. But there was a major, major issue that caused it to, um, to not, to not, um, it was, it was like every time I would zoom in and out, the whole screen would start bouncing around like crazy. And it got real, real bad. Like when I was doing this sort of thing, and I had like a piece of rail in my hand and I was doing this, like you see this stuttering? Imagine this, but it was also like jumping around like crazy in a really nauseating way. Um, the game has performance issues, but I think, you know what, it's it's still a fun game when it's running rightly. Like here, I've got, a, I've got 120 frames per second, which is great. But the second I grab a piece of rail and start dragging, oh boy, that frame rate dips to like 17. And if I start moving the camera while I'm dragging stuff, it's like, damn, dude. Gets pretty crazy out there. But we can see we've already made some profitable lines and, you know, this town is being fed. We want to get some of these population moving too, though. Uh, but I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to give, give me your direct support. And go ahead and leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I might be able to salvage some of that footage. If I can, it will be put up. Toodles.